Okay, today's installment of Assetto Corso Free Roams finds us in the Wicklow Mountains, which is kind of cool. Um, we're uh, going to go around here. I, I've tried to drive this a couple of different times, and one of the things that's actually kind of trademarked on this particular map is that it's incredibly narrow. Small roads, almost like a country road, middle of nowhere, and uh, it is treacherous, no joke. Um, I went through and uh, got through about three quarters of the map and high sighted myself, which is not <laughs> particularly fun. So we're going to uh, go ahead and drive this. Um, I tried it with traffic earlier and uh, traffic did not behave as expected. So um, didn't like that much. So we're going to go ahead and uh, drive this one of the things I, I need to do here is I need to put my gloves on. I have uh, Alcantara um, on my wheel and uh, that tends to mat up if you let it get all sweaty and nasty so I'm gonna put my gloves on to protect my wheel and to uh, As I said, this is an Ireland. I've never been to Ireland in real life. And I hear great things. Not only about the sites and uh, the country in general, but the people. The people I hear are absolutely amazing in Ireland. And I look forward to uh, being able to go there sometime and actually experience that firsthand. Um, I do have um, a lot of friends that are from Ireland, actually some that still live there. In fact, I have a standing offer from uh, several that if I ever make it into Ireland, uh, give them a ring and uh, go out and enjoy a pint. And uh, just in case there's any doubt, I am a huge uh, stout fan. Um, I love Irish stouts. Guinness is on my... Uh, favorite enjoyment list. And I dare say I have a bit of Irish in me. I, uh, I'm a German Irish mutt. As are I think most people in the United States, uh, if we're honest. Um, there's a huge, uh, Huge percentage of folks that are from uh, German descent and uh, huge uh, that are from Irish descent. So it only makes sense that there's some good mixture there of those two uh, ethnic backgrounds. This is such a tight road. requires a certain amount of concentration here because I have not driven this enough to be familiar with it yet. But Wicklow Mountains, uh... I'm not even sure 100% where that is in Ireland. But given this map, I'm pretty certain I want to find it. This is a fun little drive. This map is absolutely gorgeous. So I played with AI a little bit. AI was psychotic on this. It is a one-way route for AI.
which given the uh, width of the roads makes a certain amount of sense. There are a couple of places uh, up here that are uh, hard to spot in terms of, you know, keeping yourself on the map. This is tough. Tough track. But super enjoyable and the scenery is freaking phenomenal. Seriously tough track. Super fun though. Super tight track. <laughs> and it's funny, I have uh, Volker Krebs, who's on my team, um, for uh, iRacing special events, uh, Schadenfreude Fodder. He's all the time bugging me about... Uh, driving uh, the Nürburgring and that track I cannot keep in my head so I have to drive it much like this by feel because it's long enough that I just I, I don't have 
deep enough memory uh, from driving that track to, to know. But he's all the time bugging me about uh, getting on uh, the Nürburgring and uh, driving the Nordschleifer. Nordschleifer. It's not that I don't love that track. I do love it. I just, I don't drive it well. And I always wind up wrecking. I wind up trying to push too hard in the wrong spots and... But it's a lot like this in terms of uh, narrow, unforgiving... This is a little bit more unforgiving, I think. So I probably should, uh, Capitulates to his uh, demands that I drive the Nordschleife, Nordschleife soon. He drives it a lot. Um, he's got a group of friends that do uh, the different uh, Nordschleife uh, events on I racing. And uh, they're well, well practiced on that track, and I am not. So I think that he likes the idea of me driving that track uh, as somebody that's professed that they don't like it very much. <laughs> It's not that I don't like it, it's that I don't drive it well. Don't drive it competitively, I guess. Like this track, I mean, this uh, this map, like if somebody were to say, hey, uh, Chip, uh, let's uh, let's race on this track, I'd like, oh, yeah, I don't know. Because as much fun as this track is, I know I'm not competitive on it yet because I haven't driven it very much. The fact that this is paved is actually impressive in and of itself because this is like a cow path. It is gorgeous though. scary. Car doesn't feel any worse for wear, though. I'm sure, there is some damage. I just don't know where it is.
Got a little bit more chatter in the wheel. Crazy fucking track. Like Bob's Road. Or Sean, or... Missed my turn again. That's a couple of different start tags, which is kind of funny. I guess there are different uh, different parts of this map that people tend to drive as uh Ooh. By the way, damage is on, and I haven't damaged the car enough to crack the windshield yet, so that's, uh... I'm sure I've done some damage to the car, but... I haven't stopped it yet. So, uh, I'm about out of, uh... Interesting, well-reviewed, beautiful maps. Um, I did drive recently a uh, map that was uh, kind of a proof of concept map for the Bay Area, for going over the Golden Gate Bridge and over the Bay Bridge. And uh, it was definitely incomplete. It was not something that's worth actually showing on stream yet. Um, beautiful idea. Um, if they wind up uh, Continuing that project and uh, expanding that it could be very, very cool. I am off the map. Is odd. So let's let's do this. Go back from whence we came. Take the left up here to get back on the map. Okay, it switches back on the map. Good. Anyway, it was a very cool set of maps. There are two maps. There's the Golden Gate Bridge map and there's a Bay Bridge map. All, uh, like I said, proof of concept more than anything else. Um, they uh, had some severe missing pieces and some glitches that uh, definitely aren't 
great. Um, but uh, if they wind up connecting that and doing like a uh, a loop where you can go over the Golden Gate Bridge, loop around at uh, where they had the start of the map for the Golden Gate Bridge was uh, where you come out of uh, Moran through the Rainbow Bridge, and then you you're getting onto the, going on the Golden Gate Bridge into the city, and then uh, the map terminates. Uh, it's got a fork, so it terminates uh, right when you would hit 19th Avenue or um, right when you would start to hit downtown and the exits for downtown. And it just ends. Um, and then for the Bay Bridge, you start on the uh, East Bay side and head towards San Francisco. Go, I think left. Yeah. Um. There would be a way to actually unify those two maps and do a connection where you actually drive both. So you drive through the city to, uh, towards the Bay Bridge and then loop and then come back and drive through the city and go back out across the Bay Bridge. Would be a cool map, but uh... It's definitely not, uh, not production ready as they say. love to see that though so it's a it's a good concept map this seriously reminds me so much of uh, some of the roads in Sonoma County the back roads yeah like you know it's two lane sorta Two lane in spirit, as I like to say. <laughs> now, this is one of those where, uh, traffic would probably add very little to the experience because you're all going the same direction. So this is the end of the map. So that's us going a full loop around uh, the Wicklow Mountains in Ireland. Hope you enjoyed. Um, again, fantastic sights, beautiful scenery, great map, um, a little treacherous, <laughs> um, but a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed and uh, leave your comments. Hey, you know, I am noting an interesting trend is that 97% of my viewers are not subscribers. So if you have watched this far in the video, 
please consider clicking on subscribe to see videos of similar nature in the future. And uh, definitely like, comment, add anything that you want to this. Um, if there are particular maps that you want me to check out and show on, uh, on stream, let me know. Happy to uh, take input from the community. Thank you very much for joining me and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you. Spaß machen Rennsport.